Um, I got a request to talk more about my service dog. His name is Trex. Here he is. He's very cute. Trex is a black lab golden retriever mix. He's pretty much just a giant lump. Um, if he could lay for the entire day, he would. Um, he's kind of lazy, so that's a trade-off to getting a lump. Um, I thought I would talk about the gear that I used for Trek, um, and then how I got him. I got Trek through an organization called Candy Canines here in Minnesota. They're out of New Hope, and they provide dogs free of charge for people with disabilities like me. Trek is a walker dog, so that's kind of like, he acts like a cane or extra stability and support when I'm walking. I only weigh 100 pounds and he's 80 pounds, so it's not like I'm putting any kind of strain on him. And I use him more for upward pulling. Um, I was born with hip dysplasia, so that means that I was born without a hip socket. And I had one of the most, um, well the doctors didn't catch it very early, and so I had one of the worst cases that they've ever seen. And so I had to go to Steiner's Hospital in the Twin Cities, and they're amazing. And they fix me up as good as they can, but since it was caught so late, they couldn't make it perfect. Um, so when I was born and when they or when they caught it, I had a hip socket that was usually it's like this with your femoral head and then your pelvic ball and then it rotates freely. Um, mine was like this, my pelvis, and then my femoral head was just like a pencil eraser point right here and then it, it was dislocated all the way off to the side and so at 18 months I obviously couldn't walk on that and so they put they took off a chunk of my pelvis and kind of made me a pelvic thing and then they put my femoral head back where it was supposed to be hoping that it would grow and it grew pretty well a little bit oblong but that's fine and then I've had a couple of other surgeries to fix it and shape it into something that's usable but after all those surgeries and things I do have really bad arthritis so I have almost no cartilage protecting my femoral head and then I don't have the um, ligament that kind of acts as a bumper um, in time socket is mine's torn and kind of ripped up so I have a lot of pain when I walk and then with the EDS with the surgery change and stuff I do dislocate my hips pretty often and my knees and my ankles so I have a lot of chronic pain throughout my lower extremities um, so that means that when I walk and things I don't a have the endurance to go for a long time and if I do like walk around the daycare or something, I am wiped out for two days afterwards. Like, I can't do that much walking. And then it's very painful to walk, especially putting pressure directly on those joints. It gets really hard. And so he's there to kind of act as stability, but then also so that I don't have to work as hard. And I've noticed since I've gotten him, the inflammation, my hip would get so inflamed that you could tell on the outside, like looking that there would be inflammation inside my hip socket, like that's how bad it would get. And now with him, I haven't gotten that much inflammation. I have so much more stamina. I can go to Target one day and I can go to the grocery store the next day and I don't have to sleep for a week afterwards. So that's really exciting. So he kind of puts a couple more spoons in my port, which is great. Um, if you ever battle a chronic illness and have trouble walking, know how hard it can get and I am really glad that I have him so that it's a little bit less hard. Uh, I could have used like a cane or something but because I am a fall risk I've fallen full lat on my face more time in public more times than I can count. There was one time in Panera I was walking with my tray and I soup went everywhere. I it was a sure. But now with him, be because I am a fall risk, I, it's easy 
easier for me to use him because I have more stability than him and those kind of things. And what 20-year-old girl doesn't or wants to have to walk around in a bikini? And there are some very beautiful bikinis out there, and they work really well for some people. But for the problems that I have, it's just not as feasible for me. So what do I use to protect? I use this harness, and he probably thinks he's going to work. Yeah, are you going to work? Is that what you call your fancy car? You want to go to work? Okay, buddy. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, bye. Good boy. Small. I don't, I'm not sure, I think these are Bridgeport harnesses, but I'm not 100% sure. They came from the company that I got them from, this is Candy K9. She looks pretty nice. Jack, are you pretty? Are you pretty? Are you want to go to work? Yeah, and so we added this part, this um, kind of squishy thing because it's just, he's like a little bit too short, so we have a block in here that's an inch long, and then it connects to the three inch handle, and then it's just got some foam in the front so that when I'm walking, my arm is straight. So, it works really well. Do you like it? Are you pretty? Oh, you're so pretty. Um, and then he also carries cards in his thing that have my, um, condition information and things on them um he has a halty that he wears um for when he's out in stores because he gets really distracted and snippy um and can't keep his business out of everybody else's business so then i put the halty on just so that he stays more focused and then I clip it right to here, to the bottom thing, and then I have full control over his head, even though I don't really need it. Um, it just keeps him more focused on me and his task. Yeah, are you focused? Are you focused? Yeah. Good. Oh, you're so good. So, that's kind of how we go in stores, and then we have this leash. Um, I really like this leash because I do have ehlers Scanlon Syndrome, my fingers are really hypermobile. And so this um, leash design, I just have to push here to open it up, but then you, to close it, you really just have to push down and it, close, it locks automatically. So it's easier for my fingers, so I can just do it that way. If I'm, cause sometimes my fingers get really, it's like, the company that I got him from took and shortened it up so that it's only a three foot handle so that it's not dragging on the ground when I have to walk him around. You take it off? You ready? Okay. Yeah, see he can open his mouth fully. It's not a uh, muzzle in or anything. So, it's not controlling him in that way. It's just kind of keep on keeping him more focused. Especially because he's so much bigger than I am, relatively. He's so much stronger than I am. Um, so, it just it keeps it easier for me and safer for me to maintain control. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Um... Some of the other stuff we I have for him, I have booties for him. I got them at Wheat Farm. They're felt on the top, a little bit of like a hard plasticky vinyl on the bottom. And I use these mostly for when he gets sores on his feet because he likes to go swimming, but we have a lot of rocks um, to get in and out of the lake. So he can sometimes slip and cut his little paw open. So then I just use Neosporin and a thing to keep him from licking it at night. And that works really well. He's got leash, he's got boots.
Cody, Mia Corin, um, for Trek, he is a lab golden retriever mix. And he does have some allergy problems. Yeah, do you have allergies? Oh, did you get that? You, you dropped it. Get it. Good. Come on, Jack. Get it. Good job. Come on. So, I give him fish oil. It keeps his coat nice, it keeps his insides running good, and then it helps decrease his itchiness. He gets one 500 and one 1200 a day, and he loves them. He'll just eat them right up. Are you ready for your fish oil? Come here. Come. Get my phone. Good job. Ta-da. Good boy.
goes right in. Works really well. Ear cleaner. He hates it. He's running away. I cleaned his ears today. He's like, nope. Not again. Uh, we have a 50 foot leash in case he goes swimming somewhere that I don't know where he'll swim to. Uh, Kong. Um, we do a lot of Kong things. I'll tell you a secret. I just plug it with peanut butter in the short end and then fill it with water and he thinks he's getting a real treat even though it's just ice. Um, more, this is his important toothpaste. It tastes, it's mint flavored and he doesn't like it but it makes his breath smell really good so if we're going somewhere really important. Um, this brush works okay for getting, he has like wispies on his butt. Um, so we use this to kind of get those longer hairs under coat out. Um, what else we got? We got this, which he really likes. If we just go with half cup of food, we'll play with it for an hour. Um, more booties. We have the doll pointed scissors for cutting around his feet so that they don't get too long around his calves. Um, just a regular run of the mill clippers and then we follow it up with the putty paws system which just grinds the nail down. Tell you a secret, take off the guard and you can use it a lot better. So I don't know why we keep the guard on, but that's the fancy for me. I don't know. But bunch of tuck it balls without the fuzz because he chews the fuzz and they make ones without the fuzz. So we use this in the water float because he has somebody to go retrieve so that's his way of getting treats. Yeah and then just quick stop powder, another brush, tuck it thing. That's all we got for Trek. Um, he uses next guard for his Trek or his and that's nice because we just have to give it to him once a month and he's good to go. Instead of having to like spray on or something that he might take off. Yeah, that's Trek. I got him from an organization. They asked for my doctor's paperwork for a couple of recommendations for me to get him and why I would need him. And then they asked um, what they could do to help. And yeah, he has, we have graduation on the 20 October 22nd, so that should be fun. Yeah, he graduates. Yeah, are you watching? That's pretty much all he does all day is sit there and stare at me. <laughs> um, I think he worries a lot more. I went. Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you doing something stupid? Are you dying? What's going on? So it's really nice to know that I have something out there that will protect me, especially because right now I'm not going to school. My school closed. We're just kind of chilling at home, and it's nice to know that he's here with me when I'm here alone, just in case anything happens. He can go and get my phone, or if somebody else is here, he can go and get help. It's just a really big comfort. I don't think people understand. dog that's looking out for you or you have somebody that's looking out for you. So that's track. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. But otherwise